Hey, what's up, Impact Wrestling fans? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. And as I always say, thank you for swinging by the channel. And that is something I mean from the bottom of my heart. This is something I do in my spare time. And fortunately right now, because I'm uh, out of the house and uh, away for work, I've got a little bit more time to dedicate to the channel. And I really appreciate everyone, everyone that swings by and finds value in the content that I put up. So if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Just a little, little something, uh, because I've been real vocal about the Monsters Ball match with Grado and Abyss. I didn't like the build up to the match. Um, I think it had some funny moments, but you know they basked so long in the wedding angle, only to rush the the part that generated the actual heat. And then the match wasn't very good, and the finish was obviously a huge mess. And they brought Rosemary down, and Laurel was out there. The Laurel part made sense. So PWI was reporting that Grado and Abyss backstage after the match were beside themselves. That they were very, uh, basically mortified by the performance given in the match. And they know that it wasn't a good match. They know it didn't come off well. And something I had said in my review, along with Roe, was that I felt like Grado got a lot of offense in, and I don't think Abyss really played that dominant role very well, and I don't see how Abyss can move forward in that monster gimmick as a dominant wrestler because he was struggling with Grado, if you can understand what I'm talking about. Abyss apparently was wrestling this match injured. He had an injured knee. It's been injured for quite some time. Shouldn't have been in the ring, but gave it a go. And that is said to be some of the problems having to do with the match. And I didn't really think the match was horrendous. I just, the main reason I didn't care for it was, you know, the, the botch finish, the botch um, ring, ring, uh, the ring bell going off. Um, and just the finish in general. I actually thought Grado should have won the match with that roll up after Abyss got misted. And then, you know, of course, as I just mentioned earlier, the whole situation with Rosemary, I did not like at all. I love the Laurel part, her coming in. I thought that part was great. I thought that should have been the finish of the match. So apparently this match did not go as planned. And it is very obvious that at the last minute they tried to make adjustments to it. And I think that's the worst way to go creatively and doing booking. I mean, that's just, it's like I play... I play DraftKings, FanDuel, Draft, all that stuff. I love playing fantasy sports. And usually I'll lock my lineup in. And it's those nights where at the last minute I'm like, ah, let me make this change. Let me let me get rid of this guy, put this guy in real quick. That all of a sudden my lineup turns to absolute crap. And I should have just went with what I did the first time. It's being reported also by PWI that Grado, despite losing the match, is expected to remain with the company. And will be uh, will be featured back into the program at some point next year, and I'm one of the people that does kind of like Grado. I just you know when I say that I didn't like the build to the match, you know I'm just speaking creatively and everything. I really didn't care for it, but I do like Grado, and uh, my wifey's that's my wifey's favorite wrestler with the company, so I, I do really want to see him stick around. And apparently the the current set of tapings going on, there's there's a lot of really good things, a lot of uh, pretty good matchups and creative and everything. There's, you know, the r rumor of James Storm is heavily floating around out there. This, you know, tonight's taping as we speak could be the very last one for James Storm. I think he's gone. I, ev I would even um, say that I think EC3 is gone next year. So we're just going to have to see what happens. That does not mean they're lacking talent by any means. I still think they have a great roster, but we're going to see what happens with that. But yeah, Grado and Abyss beside themselves, emotional backstage after the match. They know it didn't go well. We'll see what happens. Also, last thing, Alberto El Patron's <laughs> talking segment was cut from the UK version of Bound for Glory. So you guys are very lucky that you did not have to sit through that. Very lucky. This is BQ. Please subscribe to the channel here at the Impact Lounge if it's your first time. And as I said, I really, really appreciate, I truly appreciate everyone that comes by this channel, checks out the content, says all the kind things. I even appreciate the thumbs down because that engagement still goes towards 
and YouTube and YouTube says okay people are engaging with it whether they like it or not and it just helps the video spread so the worst thing you could do is do nothing haters but the comments the thumbs up the thumbs down the subscriptions all go towards getting